welcome to Camp Creativity. It's Saturday afternoon. My name is Val and my helper today is Bailey. And today we are doing a pet sculpture. We're going to be using Model Magic, which I have uh, a black and white Model Magic. Those are the colors I chose to use because my puppy is black and white. And this is the little one that I did. He's got, he's got black ears. He's sitting. Got a little black tail. It's got some spots. So I'll let you guys get your, your supplies. I'm going to put Bailey down. She didn't want to stay. <laughs> so we are using Model Magic. Model Magic is a, a product made by Crayola. It's really a nice material for sculpt for molding and sculpting. It's soft, it doesn't stick to your hands. It eventually will air dry, air dry um, overnight and it'll get harder in 72 hours. Um, so you can look in the uh, link in the chat for all of the materials that you're gonna need. Pretty much I just have two colors of Model Magic. So if you don't have Model Magic, you can use other types of clays or doughs. Play-Doh, air dry clay, um, Salt though, if you've got that made. Um, but pretty much this is what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna show you my little guy again. Super easy. And we everything that we're gonna make, you make out of shapes. Oh, one little tip. So I wanna show you that if I've got white model magic here and black model magic. So my white model magic, if I wanted to turn it a color, I added some brown marker onto this piece of model magic. I just colored on it with my brown marker. And then I just kneaded it together and distribute the, you just distribute the color throughout. So if you need to do that, you can do that with your markers. Now I would use a, wa a water soluble marker, not a Sharpie. Um, these are washable markers from Creatology. Um, most of the markers that you probably have, if it's not a Sharpie is probably water soluble. You can also use paint, but that'll get messy. So I'm not recommending that for today. So if you have a tan dog, you can make tan model magic by doing what I just did. Okay, so let's see. So I want you guys to use the Q&A for questions. If you have any questions, not the chat, the link, the supplies are in the chat and the link for this class for later on viewing will be in the chat. And, um, we're recording this so you can watch it again um, tomorrow when it's back up on the website. So here we've got our little puppy dog. And I realize not everybody has a dog. There are cats, there are fish, there are other dogs. So yes, you can make whatever pet you'd like. You can make it whatever color you'd like. If you don't have a pet, make a sculpture of something you'd like to have as a pet. Say you want a pet snake, so make a snake. Um, you can, Sky's the limit, guys. Use your creativity and your imagination. And you guys can make anything you want. So I'm going to take out some Model Magic right now. If you have Model Magic, you can even see there's some examples of some things you can make right on the package. So that'll give you some ideas, too. Well, I'm going to make a white dog again. I'm going to make a dog similar to this dog. So I've got some Model Magic. It's probably the size of oh, a golf ball, maybe. But I don't need it all for, for that right now. I'm gonna take a little bit off and I'm gonna make the body. So pretty much we're gonna be making two different kinds of shapes. A ball, which you just roll the, the clay or the Model Magic in your hand. So there's a ball or a log or a tube or a snake, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it a log. So that's, that's what that looks like, okay? So those are pretty much the, the kind of shapes that we're gonna start with. And then you can um, shape them into a different shape. Like I can shape this into, you know, an oval, more of an oval instead of a, a round circle. So I'm gonna want an oval for my dog's body. My dog is sitting. So that's what I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna make a, like a nice roundish oval. You guys see that? How I did that? Okay. 
Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it into a ball. I'm going to start with a ball like that. And then I'm going to sort of shape it into a head. So it's also going to be kind of an oval, but then I'm going to pinch one end a little narrower. So for my dog's nose. See how I did that? And then I'm just going to stick it on. And you can kind of, it sticks real good to, to itself. So you can kind of pull the clay, the model magic down onto the other shape to, to make it stay, but we're gonna, it should pretty much stay. So that's, so that's what my shape looks like right now. Okay, so I'm gonna make them sit and you can continue shaping and molding. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more model magic out for his legs. Hey Val, some people are wondering if, since you've already mentioned markers, is there anything else that they can color the clay with? They can use some watercolor paints. Now just keep in mind that um, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be as dark of a color because you're, you're mixing it. So you can use watercolor paints, um, washable paint, markers, maybe food coloring, but that's gonna get messy and that's gonna stain your hands. So that's why I like to stick with water soluble type of materials. So markers, water, washable markers, water-based markers, not permanent markers, not a Sharpie. Uh, it, it may work, but I, I don't know if that's gonna stain your hand. I've not tried that. So I, I would stay away from that. Um, watercolor paints, that's pretty much what I know. Awesome. And then some people are wondering if you could show them how to make the nose again. Sure. Make another nose. So I'm gonna start with a small, smaller a ball of clay that's smaller than the body. Okay, so let's see, that's, yeah, that's definitely smaller than the body I started with. I kind of squished it down so it looks similar in shape, size, but well, maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. So just to make it smaller, just pinch off a little, little bit and then roll it into a ball. Then take that ball and roll it between your hands and it's gonna flatten the ball out a little bit. So it's gonna look, instead of round like a ball, it's gonna look a little bit more like a log, but kind of a cross between the log and the ball. Then I'm going to take one end and I'm going to pinch it down a little bit with my fingers and I'm going to make a nose. So I'm just, you can see, I'm just sort of just shaping it, pulling it, pinching it till you have the shape you like. I'm going to push the back in because his head got kind of long. So that's where I've come up with my little head. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. If you guys wanna look at that again, I'm gonna lay it right there on its side so you can use it as a guide for your shape. Start with a ball, flatten it slightly, and then pinch the nose, okay? So here's my little guy, he's starting to look like a dinosaur, but I'm gonna pinch his nose a little bit more. I'm just pulling with my fingers I'm pulling the model magic with my fingers a little bit just to elongate the nose on his head, okay? All right. Believe me, he looks, they look kind of funny at this point, but as soon as you put that little black dot on his for his nose, it makes it completely different. It makes it look like a, like a pet. So, so now I'm gonna make a couple of legs. So I'm gonna need my model magic. There's nothing better than nice, fresh model magic. It won't crack. So if you've got some older stuff and you're struggling with it, just keep trying to, to knead it between your hands. The heat in your hands will help soften it. So I'm gonna roll this out with my finger. So that's gonna be one leg and I'm gonna make another one, hopefully the same size. If you have too much on there, you can pinch some off and re-roll it. It does are pretty close to being the same size. Ooh, see how good they stick together? <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to put one leg on like that. So think of this part right under his head as his shoulder. You're gonna put one leg 
at his shoulder and then bend it, bend it so he has a little foot. You see how I did that? I put it on by his shoulder and then I bent his little foot. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Press it on by a shoulder and then press out his little foot. And you can continue to model and shape because this stuff won't dry till it'll start drying overnight. This time tomorrow, you probably won't be able to do anything more with it, but you can also paint it or color it with markers when you're done, when it's dry. You don't want to do it when it's wet. You want to wait until it's dry. Then you can paint it with any kind of acrylic paints, washable paints, or markers. Okay, so here we got my little dog started. Doesn't look like much yet, but trust me, it's going to look good. I'm going to make some back legs. So on this guy, this is his back leg. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did. I'm going to make another log, almost just like I did on the first ones. I'm going to make two of them. I put this blue sheet down so you guys can see my white model magic because I usually have a white paper on my table. You wouldn't be able to see that very well. Okay, so I've got two logs about the same size. One's a little fat. I'm going to skinny it up a little bit, re-roll it. If you get a shape you like and it's just not turning out how you like, just squish it up and start again. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of these logs and I'm going to put it on the back bottom part of my dog and fold the leg over. So, you know, when the dog sits, his little back legs come forward. Okay, so there. So there, I'm gonna try to get it close to the camera so you guys can see without the light shining on it. Can you see how I did? There's the shoulder, and his front paw, and his hind leg coming around the side. And you do that on both sides. Okay, all right. So now we have the basic shape of our pet. I'm gonna take some black model magic ears and spots and a nose and eyes. You don't need very much for that. I'm going to do a tail too. Let's do his, let's do his nose first. I'm going to show you how it starts to come to life when you do a nose. So you just need a really little piece of, of dough there, model magic. I'm going to make a little tiny ball. I'm going to stick it on his nose. Ta-da! Doesn't he already look better? I think he does. And I'm gonna make some even smaller balls. And I'm gonna just rub those with my finger for eyes. So there's one. Try to get them about the same size. So there's two little, tiny little balls. Now, if you don't have a different color of Model Magic or the color that you want, you can wait until your dog or your cat or your pet is dry and then you can paint your details on that way. I'm putting my details on with Model Magic because I have it, but I could also go back later and I can paint the details onto my dog later. So now he looks kind of like a seal, <laughs> but I'm going to give him some ears and he's going to look more like a dog. So I'm going to make two more little logs, kind of long skinny logs, and I'm going to press them down with my finger to make his ears. So I'm flattening them a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm going to put on the side of his head. See how he's looking like a dog more than, he, than a seal now? <laughs> All right. So this is what I've got going so far. His nose is a little pointy, but that's OK. This depends on what kind of dog you're doing. Then what I did for this guy, okay, let's make a tail next. I'm gonna make his tail black. So again, another little piece, roll it into a skinny log. And then I'm gonna put his tail at the back here and all I'm gonna do is press. And you can bend it into a little hook like that if you want. Or you can make it 
that way. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. All right, so here is my dog so far. I'm gonna turn them all the way around. All right. So your dog looks so good. Everybody's wondering if maybe you could make another one so they can watch you do the steps again. I sure can. I'm just gonna show you real quick how I put spots on. I made a little ball and then I'm flattening it right onto him, okay? So that's just how you can make little spots. Take a little bit of black, make a ball, stick it on him, okay? All right, so let me get some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use white because I think it's easier to see. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and make another body. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knead it first. I'd love to know what other people are making. Are they making dogs, cats, snakes, fish? We've had some people say they're gonna try to make hamsters and oh, dogs. Eight birds, a pig. All right. Bunnies. Love it. So you basically can make any of those things with the same concepts I'm showing you guys. I'm showing you how to make, you know, start with a ball. You're basically starting with shapes. So if you think of an animal, you know, uh, let's just say it's a bunny, you know, his body is going to be kind of maybe long like that, a little bit more of a, a elongated ball. So that might be his body this way. And if I make the dog, I'm gonna stand it up this way and you just sort of push down on it. So that's my dog's body. It just looks almost like a marshmallow. That's a good way to describe it. It's a little rounded, but it looks like a marshmallow. And then if you remember how I made the head, I started with a ball and then I elongated it by rubbing it between my hands and then I started to pinch his nose down. Now you can always, like you could take your fingers and pinch little ears up if you want. You guys see how I did that? I don't know if you can see that. You just, I just took a little bit with my finger and pinched it. We'll do, we'll do his ears like that on this one. This one might look like a pig when I'm done. So that's how I did that and I'm just, I'm just pressing with my fingers, you know, just shaping it into more of a pointy shape for the for for a face. You know, a lot of dogs, not all dogs, but a lot of dogs have a, a longer face. Now, kitties, if you're doing a cat, you might not want to do that. You might want to keep it uh, more of a ball. Their their heads are more round. So then I'm going to put my little head on my body, and I'm just pressing it. This one's kind of looking like a mouse or a bear. See, it, the ears make all the difference. So when you, it's by adding those details that really gets it to start looking like a different animal. So there's my start of my little dog with different kind of ears. Push them up. And some dogs have different kinds of ears. My little Bailey has lots of fur. I can't really do fur with model magic, but Okay, so that's the body and the head. Then I'll go over how to make the legs again. I'm just gonna take a couple little pieces of, of the dough, the Model Magic, about the same amount. You kind of can feel it in your hands about, you know, put, put one piece in each finger and just kind of feel if it feels about the same. And then I'm just gonna roll them into a log. And then I'm gonna put it on his shoulder. I kind of stretched it a little because this guy's a little bit taller than my other dog. So you can see, you know, this guy's, you know, he's look, kind of looking like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> because when you start adding the details to your dog, then that's when it starts to look like the animal you are trying, you're going for. But you can see these two guys. They look different. I mean, I use basically the same idea, but this guy has a little bit more pointy nose than this guy, but they're basically the same idea. Their paws and their legs, their back legs, and they both have tails. 
So I'm going to make two back legs. Put from the back to the front, like he's sitting, just like that. Now let's see what happens if I add a black nose to this. Let's see if it starts to look more like a dog. Whoops. Yeah, a little bit. He's kind of looking like a bear. I don't know. I wonder what I should make him be. He's kind of chubby. I've got a chubby guy. Now, if you, if, if you got too much, you can pull some off and then just reshape it. Somebody said it looks like a polar bear. It does look like a polar bear. Let's make him a polar bear. I like that idea. He does look like a polar bear. Like the Coca-Cola polar bear. <laughs> We're going to make two little black eyes for him. He's not going to have any spots because he is going to be a bear. Oh, he's cute. Speaking of eyes, somebody had asked earlier if they could use googly eyes when they decorate. They sure could use googly eyes. I love googly eyes. I don't, oh, I do have some. I have a whole baggie full of them. Watch this. I got some little ones. Oh, I got some little bitty ones. <laughs> oh, that looks cute. Let's see, we gotta push it in. Now, later on, if after this dries and things start to fall off, you can just glue them back on with glue, with wet glue. So there, I just, I did googly eyes on him. Can you see them? Yeah, they look awesome. Yeah, he looks cute. So since you can glue stuff on, could you glue pom-poms on later? You sure could. You could glue pom-poms on, you could add glitter. But wait till he's dry, wait till they're dry. I think that's gonna be the best solution for you is to wait till he's dry before you start adding anything on. But if you can push it in like a, like a googly eye, you can push it in, it'll stay. But if, you, if it, after it dries, sometimes when the model magic or the clay or the Play-Doh dries, it, it contracts, so it gets a little bit smaller and your eye might fall out. So you can just stick it back in with some glue. Um, what else could you stick on? I could stick on anything you could think of, gems. You could put a little bow around his neck. You could take some, let's see, what do I have anything laying around? I've got a chenille stem. Could make a little, oh, I can make a little scarf for him. These are not things you have to have, but if you have them laying around or if you have some yarn, this is, I just happen to have this laying here, but look, he's got a little scarf. Now my polar bear has a scarf. Oh, he looks so cozy. He does. Thank you, whoever gave the suggestion for the polar bear, because he really did look like a polar bear. And now he looks like a polar bear. So cute. So I don't have a pet polar bear, but now I do. <laughs> um, some people are saying they'd like to use rhinestones and buttons. Oh, yes, absolutely. You can do any of those things. And if you've got them, you can try pushing them into your, into your bottle magic or your clay um, and see if they'll stick. And then um, they should. But then again, if they fall off, just glue them back on. You can try a glue stick, but I, I like um, wet glue, like a liquid glue better. Um, or if you get one of your, an adult or your parent to help you hot glue it on, you can do that too. Um, what else? You guys have any other questions? This is a fun one. Um, the most popular question is, can, do they only have to make their pets or can they make anything else? Oh, you can make, see, I, I made a polar bear. He's not my pet, so you can make anything you want. It doesn't even have to be an animal. It can be a house or a flower. This, 
model magic, if, if you're using model magic, and I can speak to that because this is what I'm using right now, um, it's really, it's just so soft. And like I said, it's not sticking to my hands. It's just really nice and fun to use. Um, so anything you can, and, and to make most of the animals, again, you can start with the shapes I was telling you, either a ball or a log. So if I go like this, I can make a snake. So I'm making a really long log and I'm just rolling it. A lot of you guys have probably done this in school, which you can learn, you probably learned how to do this in school, but to make a nice long shape and now I'm gonna shape them like a snake. I don't want a pet snake, but I know people who do have pet snakes. It's just never something I've wanted. We but have a couple in the chat who also they have like some, snakes. They have right. some snakes going on. All right. So There's I'm lots good. of fish and unicorn. Unicorn. Um, I don't have a pet unicorn. I wouldn't mind having a pet unicorn. Wouldn't that be cool? It would absolutely be the best. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to try making a stripe on my snake by making a really skinny long log. Real skinny. Then I'm going to wrap it around. My white log, uh-oh, uh-oh. It sticks really good when it touches. That's one of the nice things about the model magic is, look at that, I'm just wrapping it. Some people are also making sea monkeys. Ooh, that's and, cool. Um, Robots, I think I might've said that already, but somebody's making oh, a robot. robot. I like that. Robots um, fun to make. Aliens, to make it alien. aliens. Yeah, we have an alien. All right, or a spaceship. So I'm gonna show you again while you guys are working. I'm gonna take a piece of white model magic and I'm gonna make it pink. I'm gonna show you again how I did that. Just while you guys are working, I can show you this. So what makes pink? red and white. So I'm going to just color onto my model magic. Get a lot of color on there. And I'm gonna start folding it and kneading it and stretching it and distributing that color throughout my model magic. Now I don't know if you can see this yet, but it's I've already got pink going. And then you can just keep adding more color to make it darker. Now, I, I, I won't be able to get red out of Model Magic because my Model Magic's already white. So it's like I had said before, it's gonna be a lighter color than your marker. But I'm gonna go ahead and add some more color. See how dark I can get it. You just got to get that color distributed. Look at that. So you can kind of see what I'm got going here. That looks great. Yeah. So that works really well. I'm not sure you could get black, but I think you could get gray. So if you have white model magic, you know, you don't have to get all the colors. You can just start with white and make your own colors. They're going to be, you know, pastel colors, but Still, you can, you can do a lot with that. See how pink that is compared to the white? So this is my white and that's my pink. Looks like a piece of bubble gum. So some people are wondering if that's okay for your marker. It, is your yeah, marker it, gonna be all right? It, I think so. It's not coming off on my marker. The only thing that's coming off when I'm coloring on it is, um, it's just the color from the marker. I'm not getting any model magic. Now, if it's not model magic, I can't speak to that. I don't know if, if Play-Doh works that same way or clay works that same way, but I know this specifically works for model magic and it's not, there's nothing on my um, marker and I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm gonna show you, my marker still works good. 
So awesome. Yeah. So it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Um, another thing people are wondering is, is there a way to add moisture if their um, model magic starts to get a little dry? Um, that's a good question. And the packaging from Crayola does not address that. You could try a little bit of water. I don't know what water will do. Let's do I have any water? Oh, I've got a little spray bottle. Let's just try it and add a little squirt of water to my model magic. I'm gonna see if it gets slimy or anything. No, that works pretty good. So you could try it. I, you know, this black piece is starting to dry out. So let's see if I add water to that. Add a little bit of water if it softens it up. Still pretty stiff. Well, it's getting softer. So yeah, you know, I think maybe you can. You can certainly try it. I don't think it will hurt it. It's not like it's coming off on my fingers or falling apart in my hands. So I think you certainly could try it. So yeah, this definitely got softer. See, the best way sometimes is just to try things. That's I've learned so much by just trying it. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? <laughs> totally. Yeah, that worked pretty good. So I would say that's a yes. You can use water to soften it up. Any other questions? Um, no questions right now. Just a lot of people still sharing their, the okay. animals they're making. A lot of people are also making accessories like col oh. like collars and leashes and bowls. Very nice. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, somebody did ask if you could use food coloring instead of markers. Um, I. You should be able to. The only thing that I will say about food coloring is it may stain your fingers. Now, um, it, it's safe because it's, you know, can go in food, so it should be able to, to do that. Just know that it might stain your fingers. Oh, I'm making a collar for my dog, a pink one. Made a little collar. Good idea. You guys are full of good ideas. That's why I love doing this. It's very creative people. Very creative. I mean, this is, this is one of those ones where you just have fun making whatever you can make. I'm going to make a little flower. I'm just squishing it. I'm going to put a little flower on his collar. Well, it kind of looks like a flower. Kind of looks like a flower. I think it looks like a flower. All right. Well, I could take a take the end of a paintbrush. So if you have any little tools around that you want to use to help shape things, I'm using the end of a paintbrush to kind of push my edges in. My little menagerie of pets. I am really loving this polar bear. I think he turned out really cute. He's gonna have to become my mascot going into Christmas, going into winter. But I like my dogs too. Some people are making bows now that you made a flower. So you okay. gave them ideas too. Yes, excellent. I love it. You guys are just giving me all kinds of ideas. I was thinking about making a little kitty, a little black kitty. Let's see, I did a, can you see? I did a round head and a log for a body. And then I'm gonna try to give him, I don't know if this is gonna work out, but we shall see. We won't know unless we try, right? Absolutely. Let me give him some little legs. I don't know if they'll be able to stand up. Let's make him lay down. There we go. Do cats lay the same? Oh, sometimes 
because they have their legs out the back, don't they? That's what we'll do. We'll be all stretched out. Can you guys see that? See what I did? He's laying. All right. Now I gotta make a couple little pointy ears. See if I can do that. Make a tail. Oh, he's got little bitty ears. I'm gonna pinch them. Make him a nice long tail. Kitty cats have long tails, don't they? There's his tail. I'm gonna give him a pink nose. Well, it kind of looks like a kitty cat. Long tail. That's his tail. Do you have any other questions? What you guys want to, you guys want to watch this again? It'll be up on our, Michael's website tomorrow. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give him wiggle eyes. I want to go through it again and watch how I made the pieces. He might be a little big, but maybe he'll be a... <laughs> Ooh, these are kind of big. So no questions yet, but we do have some requests if you're willing to make some more animals. So, I'll try. Uh, I we, so I'll throw some out there and then you can pick one. Okay. So we have a request for fish, for okay. a bird, or for a hamster. Oh. Well, let's start with a fish. Make that first. I'm going to use this pink little magic that I just made. I think I'm going to start with a log. Well, hmm. Doing a lot of pinching. I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush again to sort of help me. I need fish lips. I don't know if anybody took my fishing class the other day where we were making, we were drawing fish lips. Somebody did say earlier that they liked your class class. Aw, that was a fun one, the fishing class. Thank you. Okay, well, hmm. There we go. Okay, so we have a little fish with a little tail. I'm going to press that down. I'm going to give him an eye. Give him, I don't have any more pink, so we're going to have a white fin. What do you guys think about that? Does that look like a fish? Looks kind of like a flying. Me. Looks kind of like a flying pig to me. <laughs> it's a fish. It's a fishy. All right. The other one's well, a bird or a hamster. Hamster. Ooh. Unicorn is coming up pretty often oh, now. Oh boy! Also, I, a unicorn. I think that if you made the same kind of head as this dog and put a a little horn on it, you'd have a unicorn. We can make a unicorn dog. Let's do that. I'm gonna make a little horn. Well, I'm gonna put it on the sky. Now I have a unicorn dog. <laughs> That's silly, but I like it. 
Let's see, a little gerbil. I got this little brown, little piece of brown model magic. I haven't, I don't have a gerbil on. It's been a long time since I've seen one, so I'm going to go from memory, but aren't they just little balls of fluff? Little yeah, balls of I'd say little balls with like oh. mouse ears, but like slightly oh. pointier. Okay. All right. My fingers are kind of big. Oh, look at that. It looks like a gerbil or a hamster, I think. What do you guys think? Wait, where am I going here? There we right go. Right there's good. Doesn't have any eyes or a nose. Do they have little black noses? They do. Okay, let's put a little black nose on him. I think that looks just like a little hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Well, I know you guys are having fun. Because now we have a fish, a little hamster, a dog, a polar bear, and the one and only unicorn dog. Looks like Snoopy. Unicorn Snoopy. His magical powers. Oh, we have a snake too. I forgot about the snake. I pinched his head off so I could use some of this model magic. Just give him a snake head. All right. You probably cut off a little piece of chenille stem for his tongue. For the thread. Oh, got some right here. I was thinking I was going to make some more pink. Model magic, but let's do that. <laughs> so some people are asking if they can make backdrops for their animals. Oh my goodness, what a great idea. You can make a whole scene for your animals. If you wanted to make, you could make trees and rocks and things out of the model magic and then you could take some construction paper or some drawing paper and make a background for it and stand it up behind them um wow what a great idea i would love to see what you guys do you should, when you're done you should take a picture and put um put it on um, social media either instagram michael's instagram or michael's facebook page and do hashtag make it with michael's and, um, and then we can see what you guys are doing. I think that would be so cool. I would love to see all your scenes and all your animals and, and what you've done. That would be so awesome. We definitely have a lot of creativity. So it, it sounds would... like it. I, this has been awesome, you guys. I'm so proud of everybody for coming up with different, I mean, even my poor little cat. <laughs> Doesn't really look like a cat, but you know, I tried. Maybe if I spent more time, it'd be, but I've got a cat and a hamster and a fish, a dog and a polar bear and a unicorn dog and a snake. Pretty fun, huh? I think it's fun. Definitely a lot of fun. And a lot of people agree with you. Well, good. I'm so glad. If you guys can see these. I just, I think he's funny. He's just silly now. And I like that. And then my dog. Show you guys my dog up close. And then my polar bear. I think he turned out really cute. And my fish. Or my flying pig, whatever you want to call him. It's kind of getting some reflections from my window. My little hamster. My little snake. And my cat thingy. Oh, look, here's another thing you guys can do. I just did this by accident. I was mixing black and white model magic together, and now it's kind of swirly, kind of like an ice cream cone. That looks like a snail. So that's kind of fun, too. You can mix your colors. Someone said earlier they were trying to make a snail, so oh, maybe that will help them. All right. You mix your colors and swirl them together, and then twist them. Look like a seashell. Awesome. 
anything else? We have any more questions or I just think you guys need to just keep making, keep on making, making more, more and more fun little animals and things. Um, no more questions, just people still saying okay. the types of animals they're trying to make, caterpillars, more dogs. Okay. Yeah. Very Panda nice. came up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. And all the accessories they're making. That's cool. Lots of bowls, like bow ties and collars. Very Some, cool. And somebody said they made an avocado. Oh, my goodness. And good. a version of the earth. Oh, nice. Statues. A gorilla. Oh. Wow. We got some talent out there. That's very cool. Yes, lots of creativity in today's class. I love that. I'm making a bowl. Guys gave me the inspiration to make a dog bowl. I don't know what that's going to look like, but. There's a little bowl. You can make a dog bed too. You can even make a little bed for him. Make a dog house. All kinds of things. Lots of people are making grass. Oh, wow. So their animals can play in the grass. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, all you, need, all you need is just some imagination and some basic materials. You've got your markers handy. You can pretty much mark markers and some paper. You can make lots of things to go with your, your pets too. I think that's awesome. It's a good time. Horses to are getting pretty popular. Ah, horses. Very nice. Next time you say you want a pet, and your mom says, well, go make one. Now you know how to do it. They're easier to take care of this way, I can tell you that. Don't have to feed them. All the benefits of a pet and none of the work. That's right. That's right. I mean, how else could I have a polar bear? My little polar bear. He's so cute. Somebody said that they made ice cream and an ice cream truck. Wow. You guys need to take pictures so I can see them. I would love to see them. That would be very, very cool. Somebody made a cat uh, sorry, cactus. Cactus. Oh, I love cactus. I do lots of paintings with cactuses. That would We've be got fun. some. Pokemon in here. Ooh. Yeah. I haven't watched Pokemon in probably 20 years because my son is now 27 and he was in a Pokemon back then. So that was a long time ago, but still the same. Pikachu. If you're feeling nostalgic, you can find it on Netflix. I know. I'm sure I can find it. Every once in a while, I see SpongeBob and all those other cartoons we used to watch. They're so silly. <laughs> Did you ever have a favorite Pokemon? Did I? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I always liked Pikachu, but you know. I know the big card that everybody wanted when my son was little was Charizard. Mm. I think we had one. I think we still have one. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was always the, the white horse with the flames for like, oh. the tail and stuff. She's yeah, I, I can't remember so the names of all of them. They all had pretty cool names, though. Yeah. I was just telling somebody yesterday that my favorite one is Jigglypuff. Oh, <laughs> how could you forget about that? That's, <laughs> That's from good. Super Mario Brothers, though, more than from Pokemon. So oh, it is? I didn't know if it counted. Oh, um, I didn't know like, that. Yeah. But isn't it, is it in Pokemon, too? 
It is. It is. But it was from Mario Brothers? Mario sure. Smash Brothers. Oh. It's a, it was a video game, and I played it a lot. And yeah, I remember it. Wow. I didn't know if I could count it as my Kirby. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you got to like it just for the name. Awesome. Yeah, we had dressed up as my oldest was Pikachu uh -huh. for Halloween. And so I dressed up as Misty. And my youngest, I made her a Togepi costume and carried her around while we went trick-or-treating. Wow, that's fun. Pretty cute. Yeah. Power Rangers were big, too. Oh, yeah. When my son was Those were big when I was little. Oh, uh, yeah. You must be about my son's age. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today. Definitely a lot of thank yous I, and a lot of people saying that they made so many fun things oh, and they had a great time. Oh, I'm so glad. I did too. I thought I was just going to make one dog and I end up making a whole little menagerie. I have a little pet store going here. My little snake. I'm not even afraid of this little snake. Neither is my hamster <laughs> or my fish. Or my miniature cat thing. I guess he's a cat. I guess he looks like a cat. He looks like a cat from this angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. His eyes kind of went in kind of funny, so he's got kind of weird eyes, but. Yep, so many people saying that they love this activity and they're so. Very thankful that you did it, and it was a great class, and they had yeah. so much fun. Awesome. I think you guys have been super duper creative today, and that's really cool. It makes me very happy. Nothing better than being creative on a Saturday afternoon. That's for sure. For sure. I don't know about where you guys are, but it's kind of hot here, so I want to be inside crafting because I don't have a swimming pool. If I had a swimming pool, well, maybe I'd go swimming, but I think crafting inside and in a nice cool house is a good thing to do. Agreed. Yeah, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Although I think it's about to storm here, so. Oh. If you hear thunder, that's why. <laughs> Do you have a favorite animal, Val? Oh, favorite animal. Well, I mean, I love dogs. I just, I have three dogs and I just, I love dogs. So I've always loved those. But as far as like a bigger kind of animal, um, gosh, there's so many. I love dolphins and sea lions. Polar bears are awfully cute, I gotta say. Um, I just think all animals are so cool. Animals are, we should be taking care of all our animals. Agreed. I wonder what the kids' favorite animals are. No. Mine's an ocelot. An ocelot. Mm -hmm. That's a cat, right? Yes, it's, a, like, it's, it's like a, like a very house-sized version of a leopard. Oh, okay. <laughs> that lives in the oh. Amazon and yeah. Uh-huh. Really big eyes. And they're super uh -huh. cute. I've always liked gorillas and monkeys. Those are so cute, too. But I just yep. I think animals are just cool. Some people are saying they like flamingos and cheetahs, oh, yeah. seals and dolphins, yep. owls and elephants. Very nice. I like elephants, too, and owls, yeah. Dogs. Dogs yeah. is coming up a lot. Okay cats now that we said dogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pigs and emu. An emu. Oh, that's cool. Those are cool looking. Yeah. Oh, you know what else is alpacas and llamas are cool too. <laughs> like those guys too. I wouldn't mind um, having an alpaca. Oh, goats are cool too. I think goats are cute. And cats. I, I love I love those little videos where they're like in their pajamas. Little goat, little baby oh, goat. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Some of the best. They are. I've done goat yoga. Really? 
Oh, it climbs up on top of you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, somebody's great. asking if you're going to name the animals you made today. Oh, I should, shouldn't I? Maybe you guys could help me. What should we name? Uh-oh, he's sticking. What should we name my polar bear? We have some ideas. Patty, Peter, Poppy. Oh, Poppy's cute. I like Poppy the polar bear. All right, so that's the polar bear. Okay, what about the unicorn dog? Maybe he should just be called Wonder Dog. They, uh, one of them said um, the polar bear should be Cola, so it's the Cola bear. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. Cola the bear. He really does look like that, doesn't he? What about this guy? Dottie? <laughs> Dottie with a pink flower on her neck? Oh, I think we'll call her Dottie. What about our People fit? like dots, Dottie and dots. Okay. How about Pinky? I know that's kind of obvious, but it's kind of cute too. <laughs> Pinky the fish. What about our little hamster? What should we name our little hamster? Hammy? <laughs> hey, Hammy came up. See? Great minds think alike. Okay, what about the weird cat? Crazy cat. Silly cat. Crazy eyes. He's got crazy eyes. He definitely has Meow. Crazy. People like Meow. Meowster. <gasps> I like that. Meowster. That's what we'll call him. And then we have the snake. What should we call the snake? Sammy? Sammy the snake? Venom? Venom. Ooh. But he's a nice one. Well, we need to <laughs> Stripey? Stripey. That's a good one. It's kind of slinky. Sally. Sally the snake. That sounds good. All right. So we have cola. We have wonder dog. Dottie. Pinky. What do we say, Hammy? Mm -hmm. yep. Meowster. And Sally the Snake. All right. What a great collection we have here. I am going to keep these so I can remember my time with you guys. I keep them on my desk. I can look at them and remember this fun class we had together. I'm glad you guys are joining us for Camp Creativity this summer. Even though you can't get in the stores, at least you can get on your computer and make along with us. It's been a lot of fun. And we're going to be doing more and more of these. So just keep watching our website for, for different uh, notifications for what we're going to be doing. And we're going to have some more fun things to do. Start gathering your supplies. Make yourself a nice little crafting kit. You can jump in and make anything you want when we're making things. So I know you guys have the creativity for sure. All right, Val, that's about time. Okay, our time is up, guys. Thanks for joining me. Keep making. See you next time.